So whenever we're struggling with some aspect in our life, whether it's um, our health or uh, maybe it's dating and relationships or maybe uh, it's our finances, uh, we always come up with um, some type of reason for why uh, that is the case, right? Even though that, that reason may be something that we're doing wrong, we always try to find a reason why um, or, or we try to find a reason to justify why we're doing it. And in this video, I want to talk about um, in regards to when it comes to our finances, like seven lies um, that you know we tell ourselves to justify why we're living above their means, above our means, and, and I think it's important because especially when it comes to the way we deal with our finances, like a lot of people don't understand that like many many times it's, it's psychological, right? Um, especially when when people get into debt, um, even though like the way people get into debt, sometimes like you're from the outside looking in, you're looking like, all right, that person is an idiot. Why is that per person spending money? And we all do that, but for to them, it makes sense to them. Right? It, it makes sense to that person spending the money, even though they're doing it incorrectly, they have poor spending habits. When they're spending money, it makes sense to them. Right? And, 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 but, but it's important to understand that when they're making these decisions, they're, they're finding ways to justify why they're doing it. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the lies that people tell themselves um, to, uh, tell themselves to justify why they're living above their means. So the first one is future earnings. And, and, and the thing is, especially with this, is like because people believe like as long as if you're someone, let's say you have a job, um, as long as money is coming in, people will justify why they're going to continue to spend money. And I remember, and, and, and people do this a lot, like especially when they're uh, um, when it comes to like using credit cards, like all you have to do is pay the minimum payment. That's an easy thing to afford, right? If it's twenty five dollars, thirty bucks, whatever it is, as long as you have income coming in, you can continue to spend um, the way you're doing it. Right. And, and even if you're overspending, but it's because you had, you know, money's coming in, you'll, you'll continue to do it. But all it takes is one emergency, um, you losing your job and then that income stops. And then you get to a point like, all right, damn, I can't, I, I can't, I can't afford this. Right. It, it doesn't hit you until then. Or you maybe you accumulate so much debt that even the money that you have is just can't sustain it. But a lot of people understand that because they know money's coming in, that they feel that, you know what, they'll be able to pay down the debt. I remember even when, when I, I got myself into trouble, I told myself, I, I'll pay. I, I took on like a, a, a you know, couple thousand dollar loan and I was like, I'll pay this down. And of course, things come up and then you find yourself that you don't pay it down and you, you have this debt. So I think for a lot of people, they, they, they feel that, you know, since because I have future earnings coming in, I have money coming in, that they, it, it justifies why they can continue to live above their means. Number two, life is short. Right. We've all heard this before. Uh, we heard people talk about how, um, you know, you know, you never know how, you know, you, you could die tomorrow um, or you can't take the money with you uh, for whatever reason. They'll come up with a whole bunch of reasons. YOLO, you know, you live, you only live once. So they'll, they'll find so many different reasons for why, you know, what you, you can't take the money with you. So you might as well just spend it now. Right. And, and enjoy, enjoy while you can. And of course, yes, you want to make sure you're enjoying life, right? Like life can be short. You never know what can happen. You want to make sure you're, you're enjoying the moment. But also I always tell people, man, yo, you can live a really long time. So you have to prepare for those times, right? Maybe you want a family someday, right? You have to make preparations for things like this, right? Pre preparation for retirement. Um, so these are things that you need to also consider, right? Like, of course, we know that tomorrow is never um, promised, but you never know. You can live into your 80s and you want to make sure you're also preparing that. So having that mindset, that short-term mindset that life is short, obviously that's not a, that's not a good long-term play. Number three, keeping up with appearances. And I think a lot of this obviously is, you know, driven by media where people feel, like, especially in the United States, where um, they decide what, what wealth is, right? Wealth is um, what kind of clothes you wear, uh, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you have, right? And a lot of this determines what people wealth is. So people see this and they say, you know what, all right, in order to make it look like I'm a little wealthy, I need to, I need to buy these things, these luxuries that make me look wealthy. And of course, people do this, and, they, and we see it so many times. There's so many people that you see they dress nice, but then you know you see you, you see the things that they have a whole bunch of debt, um, struggle living paycheck to paycheck, but they're trying to maintain this lifestyle to, to let people know that they're living that that they that they have a lot of money. Um, and, and that's obviously not the way you want to live either, right? That's obviously living above your means and, and buying things that you can't afford. But we all, a lot of people do this just because they want to maintain um, a, a, a perception of a lifestyle, right? Number four, 
deserve rewards. All right, now people convince themselves that you know they deserve to treat themselves right due to hard work, or maybe they're stressed out. So they say, you know what, I've worked hard, so I deserve this little this little treat, right? I'll, I'm gonna buy myself a little treat, and that's okay, right? Like we understand that you know maybe you you you've stressed out or you worked hard for something and you wanna you wanna treat yourself to something, and that's okay. But when it gets to a point where you're you're doing it to a point where you're living above your means or you really can't afford it, then you gotta step back and say, all right. You know what? I'm 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 living paycheck to paycheck. I can't afford this. It doesn't make sense for me to treat myself the way it is, especially if I'm not managing my money properly. Like like I said, it's okay to treat yourself from time to time, but you want to get to a point where you've you've not it's not it's not it's not it's not causing you to struggle with your finances, right? And then for a lot of people, they'll come up with whatever excuse that you know is under the sun where you know what? I'm stressed out. And, 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 you know, I deserve this, so I'm just going to buy this. And it gets to a point where obviously they can't afford it. And clearly that affects their finances in a negative way. And then you find them, you know, they're, they're still struggling, living paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, it, it, it's not a good situation long term. All right. So number five, right. It's the American way, right. Like everybody else is doing it. That is just a way of life in America. Um, uh, and since everyone else is doing it and, and this is what we this is our culture then I, I guess it's normal right it's just something that we do so I think it's okay for, to do that and the thing is people have this idea when it comes to wealth right their formula when it comes to wealth is income plus debt equals wealth right that's a formula for a lot of people um, especially if you're someone let's say you make forty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars a year and maybe you you don't think outside of your job or you know you don't think you can make any much more than that outside of maybe a 3.3% raise every year. So you're like, you know what, in order for me to enjoy my life, like maybe go on vacations, buy clothes and buy the things that I want, I'm going to have to take on debt. Okay. And people just say, you know, this is, this is what, what's normal here in the United States or in this country. So I'm just going to do it because this is what everyone else is doing. Well, obviously everyone else isn't doing it. People that are managing their money properly aren't doing it that way. But for the, the, the common American, that, that are struggling find, um, living paycheck to paycheck, this is probably what they're doing. So because it's normalized and because other people are doing it, they justify that it's okay for them to do it. And we all know that if you're someone that's managing their money properly, then you know that's not a good idea. Okay? Um, so yeah. So number six, uh, future cutbacks. And this is almost like uh, future earnings, right? Like future earnings, you know money's coming in. Future cutbacks, you, you, you say, you know what? I'll just make some cuts in the future, right? I know, like, um, if, if it gets to a point where I can't manage this, I'll just make sure to make some cuts and, and I'll get myself back right. But you know what happens? It all adds up. And then you've probably made so many cuts that, you know what, you can't cut anymore. And then you're like, all right, damn, what, what do I do? Like, all right, I can't make any cuts and I'm stuck with this debt. And then you, you're you obviously stressed out living paycheck to paycheck, struggling with, with your, your finances. And it's got to a point where like, all right, yeah, this is not going to work out. And, and you can't have that mentality. The way I look at it is that if you, when, you use it, when you're taking on debt, if you don't have that money in your, if you can't pay that, that whatever it is that you're trying to buy three times over, five, four times over, then you probably can't afford it. Right, um, and especially if you don't have that money in your bank account, if you don't have that money in your bank account, then you shouldn't be using a credit card anyway. Okay, so it, it, obviously a lot of people have this mentality where, like, you know, I'll just, I'll, I know in the future I'll just make cuts if I have to. But like I said, emergencies happen, uh, things come up, and then it gets to a point where, like, you know what, I've made all the cuts that I can, I can't make any cuts. So you gotta be be careful with that. All right, the next, the last one, number seven, is debt denial. And of course, when it comes to, it's like an alcoholic, right? When they, someone that drinks too much, right? They, they get to a point, they say, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, I'm not, I don't drink. I'm not, it's not as bad as you think it is until you're, 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 you're face down on the pavement. And you're like, all right, damn, I need to make a change. It's the thing, same thing with debt. Um, people, when people are spending debt, spending more money that they make, it gets to a point, they're like, ah, you know, it's not that bad. Like I, like I said, they'll find, they'll come up with every freaking excuse as to why they'll, you know, it's not as bad as, as it may seem. Right? Then it gets to a point where then you, you know you face an eviction, um, you barely could pay um, any bills that you got on that you that you have, and it's like all right, it gets to a point where you're tapping out. If you're going, if you're trying to take money off of credit cards, you're doing cash advances or something I used to do back in the days, or and then you're trying to tap into your equity in your home, it's getting to a point where all right, you're clearly you can't you clearly can't afford your lifestyle. So maybe you need to take a look in the mirror and say, you know what, I need to stop. I need to get my finances in check. Um, I need to stop spending more than I make. And it takes a real introspective to say, you know what, all right, this isn't working, right? I'm struggling, like it's, it's affecting my relationships, it's affecting my relationship with my friends and my family. And, and it gets to the point where you say, you know what, all right, I need to step back, 
create a budget and and I, I needed to really start taking control of my finances and it doesn't get to and for a lot of people it, you know it's, it takes a while for a lot of people to even reach that point right sometimes it takes an extreme extreme circumstance to say you know what all right this isn't working and you got to take a real hard look at yourself and say all right i need to ch i need to make a change and some people do and some people don't but when it comes to justifying like living above means it really like i said a lot of it is psychological man it's just it's, it's just developing better habits like like i said we've all been there when it comes to our finances and it's something that we we get to a point where you say you know what, we need to make a chance change and like i said some people do some people don't and those that do right they develop a plan they take action and eventually and and you know when you when you're managing your money properly even when you're going through like inflation or economic downturns it doesn't impact you as much because you're not struck you're not strapped for debt Right, you got your money in order, even though um, you know it might, things might be tight. But because you don't have debt, you don't you, that money's not going to someone else. You can you can weather through that storm. It's when you when you owe people money and you got to give money to other people that's destroying your wealth. Then it gets tight, and that's when it when the hardships come. So it's important to make sure you understand, like especially if you're struggling for living paycheck to paycheck, it's important to be honest with yourself and say, all right, like what am I doing wrong when it comes to my finances? Because whatever I'm doing isn't working. All right, and I, you got to make a change. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit the like button, share, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. All right, so, you guys, take care. Have a good one. Later.